Hi everybody, my name's Claire, welcome back. I've had an idea. Um, I don't know if it's a good idea or a just totally ridiculous idea, but my idea is to create some sort of rainbow, some sort of flowing rainbow across a canvas, um, and to do each colour of the rainbow one at a time by taping it off with tape, painting it with, and then swiping it with cell activator, letting it dry, then taping over that to expose the next piece. Um, so the seven colours in the rainbow, so potentially over seven days worth of, of paint pouring, bit by bit. Um, and the reason for that is I want nice sharp edges to the rainbow. So instead of just doing it all in one go, um, I want, I'm thinking of just breaking it down into each section. Um, also, it means I've got a lot more control over the swipe and it means that the colours won't blend um, where they meet, uh, which you'll see in a minute when I, when I show you my idea. Um, so either a good idea or a crazy idea. There's only one way to find out. Um, so let me show you the colours. So the other reason I am so excited about the painting I'm about to do is because of this. Can you see what all of these bottles are? A lot of artists use posh bottles, expensive bottles. These are all my shower gel bottles and I've been saving them for a while. I finally got enough. I've mixed my paint in them. So they've all got um, a little squeezy cap at the end. Um, so it may come out too fast. I'm not really sure yet. But for the first time ever, I've got bottles for my paint instead of little pots. Um, so I've 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 poured them, I've mixed them all up, um, and then over time, I, when I get more shower gel bottles, I will mix up more colours. So the colours in this rainbow, let me show you. So Amsterdam, there's quite a few colours. I've got vermilion, light rose, ultramarine violet. I have primary cyan and king's blue then um azo yellow lemon quinacridone rose i've got two royal and lang nickel colors i've got dark co cobalt violet and this one's magenta three dela rowney um, colors cadmium yellow hue sap green thalo turquoise and then four pepio studio acrylics to give some iridescence iridescent blue green red blue orange yellow and green yellow so all of the paints in these bottles i've mixed with flood fluoritrol um, i'll put the recipe for the mixture in the description of this video so the canvas i'm going to use is a 40 centimeter by 50 centimeter canvas now you'll see some lines on this canvas so i've sketched some lines on so if you can imagine i want to try and explain to you what i'm going to do this is going to be the rainbow with these lines. So I'm going to start with reds and oranges, yellows, greens, blues, purples, and then pinks down this way. What I'd like to do, so oh, I'm sorry about the shadows. Um, just so, for example, there's a really nice band here. What I want to be able to do is swipe with cell activator. Um, I'm not sure from which end, this end or this end, and get a lovely undisturbed flow um, as I'm swiping. If I do that for every band, it's going to get very muddy in this section because all the bands are so close together as opposed to this end where they're further apart. So my thinking is if I'm going to do this one, I will tape, I'll put some frog tape down here and then here. So the only bit of exposed canvas is this. So then I can put my paints on and then I can swipe over the top and over the top of the frog um, tape without it um, without it being a problem. So that's what I'm thinking. It's quite a complicated rainbow design, not a traditional rainbow design. I found um, this image online and just absolutely fell in love with it. Um, so that's what I think I'm going to do. So this is the next step. It's just taken me ages. I've just used this frog tape um, and I have gone around some of the lines with the frog tape so the idea is that the bits i'm going to paint i'm not doing one at a time i'm doing one two three four five six sections at a time so i'm going to paint these let it dry peel off the tape and then put tape on the painted bit so the bits that i've chosen don't touch at all so i should be able to do this without um, getting the paint smearing with the next uh, band of color you can see 
loads of bits of tape so I really took my time had to really carefully cut around the edges to get the shape I want um, but that's the first step done so I can now finally start using these paints
So it's finally, finally finished. It's taken me probably a couple of weeks to do this bit by bit, painting, pulling off the tape, painting, pulling off the tape. I have to say, I've loved it. I've absolutely loved every step of the process, but I'm actually really glad it's finished. Um, I'm really happy. So the wave and the, 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 the just the flow of the paint, it, it, it just works so well. Maybe with the exception of this brighter white band here, but I think that doesn't quite match, but it does break up what would otherwise be a really dark section of colour. Um, and I think it quite, it balances out nicely with the yellow at the top. So I had thought about doing that again in some darker colours, but I've decided to leave it. Also, I've deliberately left the white, oops, sorry, add around the edges. So I think the white in that just offsets that as well. Um, so let me take you in close up. There's lots and lots to see. Um, each section, is really pretty. Um, I found that the sections that have got the iridescent in, so the orange here and the green here, you get less obvious lacing. Whereas this section, dark green, um, you can see it much more easily. And also this blue section, look at that, it's really beautiful. There's no, um, oh sorry, there's no iridescent paint in that blue section. So you get the lacing, it just seems to be a lot more obvious. Um, here you've got iridescent turquoise, so it's less obvious, but I really like that. So some bands it's really obvious, other bands it's much more subtle. Um, here I think I had, it's not a problem really, but I think I had an issue with the paint um, consistencies because we've got some really big cells there. So I think one of the purples was a little bit thinner. And this one is so interesting. Again, I think the paints were thinner, and so it almost, instead of looking like sort of typical lacing it just looks like crazy paving somehow this has to be my favorite section um the cells and the lacing there are just beautiful um yeah so and and here so so happy because look you've got every single line neat pin like absolutely spot on absolutely perfect no muddying between the colors and that's what i really wanted the other really interesting thing about this painting is if I turn it on its side, you might, in fact, I'm gonna put it on the floor to show you, you might see there are a few ridges. So between, let's see if my, oh, you can see it better there. Between every single band of paint, there is a very small ridge where the paint has butted up to the tape. So it just adds, you can see it there, it just somehow adds a bit of depth to the painting. Um, I wasn't really expecting it, or certainly wasn't deliberately trying to get that. Um, but it's there, so it's really pretty. Uh, I really like that. And you can see how iridescent it is there. And also the edges are just a continuation um, of the color. So I'm really, really pleased. Um, so an interesting one, I'm not gonna be in a rush to do another one because it, it took a really long time, but I've got a few other ideas of something maybe similar I might try. Um, great, please let me know what you think. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, take care. Bye.